Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to connect with you today. It is March 13. It is a Monday, and we just came off a uh, valuable weekend. Valuable for me, anyway. I got to get a little bit of rest and get a lot of things done that had been uh, backed up a bit as I had been on a retreat with my spiritual teacher, Master Shah. It was a very powerful retreat for a week uh, in which we were learning the sacred art of the Tao calligraphy and receiving um, opportunities to uplift our abilities to bring balance and uh, benefit to others using the power transmitted into the Tao calligraphies. Truly amazing um, the, the, what I witnessed, the, the, the souls that were dramatically impacted. I was able to witness Master Shah doing blessings with the Tao calligraphies that were just enormous, uh, life transforming to say the least. I have tailoring my words because we're not allowed to say miracle healing. <clears throat> but uh, if I was allowed to say miracle healing, that's what I witnessed. And so, <laughs> playing with the words. Anyway, welcome to today's live stream. Today I'm going to be focusing on the subject of anger and the wood element their interconnectivity, uh, the origination of this wisdom to the little degree that I understand it. I'm not a, a uh, traditional Chinese medicine uh, practitioner, which is where some of this wisdom comes from. Uh, but Master Shaw has shared in several of his books this wisdom and a general understanding of it <coughs> and how we can apply it to have a greater understanding of the imbalances that show up in our health and wellness and how we can do self-healing to bring about uh, and maintain balance uh, in our health and wellness. And so I'll be covering that today. And uh, I'm also going to be offering a, um, a blessing today uh, as a live demonstration. <coughs> there will be a student that uh, will receive a blessing for the condition of anger and uh, you will have the opportunity to witness that today as well. This person will be calling in. It'll be a remote blessing. As most of you know, 95% of the blessings that I offered are done remotely. And uh, I have found there is no shift whatsoever in the efficacy. It's certainly just as effective in person as remotely. Um, and that's because I'm not doing the work anyway. Heaven does the work. I'm just the middleman. So thank you, Heaven. So that's what you can look forward to today as well. And so we have uh, quite a few people that have tuned in here on Facebook live stream. I'm going to scroll back here and acknowledge all those. Um, it shows uh, right now 16, 17 people, but it only shows me um, a couple of names popping up here. So I see Aloha Angel, Aloha Sarah, and Aloha Elizabeth. Welcome Karen, welcome uh, Susan, welcome CJ, and welcome Nurma. And whoever else is tuned in, I apologize. I'm unable to discern uh, if who you are. And that's because I'm doing this Facebook live stream from my computer. And it operates a little bit differently than when I'm working through my phone. So please forgive me if I haven't acknowledged you. Aloha, Amy. Thanks for tuning in. And so today will be very powerful. Now, uh, most of my guests that, that come across my live stream uh, that are interested in spiritual related things tend to be women and then uh, they share it and men that tend to find out about this. But generally speaking, most of the people that have anger are men. It's a very general statement, but for the most part, we seem to have a better uh, ex uh, gri grip on this emotion. We seem to be much more expressive with it and uh, for the most part, I can say that that is true for me as well. I uh, am now over 50 and through my life has certainly had uh, my share of issues with this condition. And I, I, I call it a condition because it's something that is fixable. Just like, um, you know, the flu is a condition um, that is fixable. And so the key is, you know, discovering the source of it and the nature of it, which I will discuss today from the perspective of soul and the perspective of uh, Tao. And, um, and then I'll offer you some of the guidance, wisdom, and insights as to the resolve that can occur <coughs> around this. Okay, 
And so I'm hearing that the volume is insufficient. So I'm going to just do something here and see if I can help it to be any better. So please forgive me if... Um, hopefully that will help some there. And hopefully that will help some there. Um, I don't know if that will help or not, but you can let me know if that is helping. And then I'll also... Okay, somebody said theirs is fine, so maybe check your volume on your end as well. But I did pump it up some, so hopefully it will help. I know I have a little bit of trouble with my computer uh, and my microphone, so thank you for letting me know about that. And I will speak up as well. So, <coughs> thank you also, uh, Ali, for joining us, and Angel Heart. Welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Dana. And Amy, if you did not hear me, welcome. And welcome, Sharon Dodd. So, um, one of the unique things about this live stream is I am posting it now on, uh, on podcasts. And so, if any of you have iTunes or Stitcher or any of the other podcasts or you like those, um, then you can actually find my information now. It is listed. You have to literally search in, in uh, you have to go into the podcast area of iTunes and then just have to type in my whole name. Since I'm so new there, there's no way to find me unless you type in the whole name. And that is The Tao of Spiritual Awakening. That's the title of my podcast, The Tao of Spiritual Awakening. And pretty soon I will be uh, also posting those recordings onto Facebook for anybody that wants to listen to it that way. Um, so they can, of course, listen to it and download it. And, and it's nice to be able to listen to it on an audio when you're driving into work or something like that. So you can look forward to that. I've just been playing with it this whole week, and I've got it pretty much wired. Uh, I'll also be posting the videos on there so people will have a choice of audio or video, at least through iTunes. They're the only ones that does both, but the others uh, work with it in audio. So you can find it that way in all the major ones. Tune in, I believe, is one of them that I'm in, also Google+. Plus. So if you use any of those, uh, then you can access that. Okay, and welcome, Oliver. Thank you uh, for tuning in. So let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We start with placing our hands in the soul light heiress hand position, which is much like a prayer position where we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. <coughs> Close your eyes and let us fully connect. They're all beings of light, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. All stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the plan of the light side. Dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to please be present at this time and whatever way is most appropriate to please guide the wisdom and teachings that will come through today. I ask you to please be present and guide the blessings that I will offer today to one of the uh, lucky recipients. I will offer a blessing today for the condition of anger and I ask for your, your guidance for that as well as your guidance in the soul reading for this. I ask that you assist in spreading this wisdom to as many souls as possible so that as many lives as possible can be benefited by this soul wisdom and I offer my deep gratitude to Master Shah for bringing this wisdom to humanity. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, to please turn on. And we invite the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to please join with us at this time. And we invite all souls to chant this, <coughs> to serve at the highest levels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, please serve. Thank you. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wash in her ling. Wo I turn ran lay. Wong li hing rong. Her mooshur shong. 
相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those listening on podcast for the first time, this source soul song、uh, is an amazing song, a healing song, and all you have to do is keep it around and play it in the background to notice the difference. It can literally feng shui an environment in your house, and、uh, it can reduce an angry、uh, mood down to a, a non-angry one pretty fast. You can locate it at lovepeaceharmony.org.org, and.、Uh, And you can download it for free. The copyright has been removed, and it has been gifted to humanity to serve humanity. And it's actually available in 50 languages. So the purpose is to chant this song five minutes a day at noon to serve humanity, to to serve the highest cause. So、uh, that's a little side information for those listening on podcast. So again, thank you to all those for joining. Welcome,、uh, Crystal. Welcome, Elaine. And and so today <coughs> I'm going to offer a little bit of a Guidance and reading from Master Shah through one of his books. Today I'm going to be using the book called Soul Healing Miracles, and this book、um, is a New York Times bestseller. It, it became a New York Times bestseller almost instantly. It's truly a, an amazing, amazing book, and he has some astounding calligraphies in here as well. So if you don't have the book, it's a great way to learn more about who this teacher is. Uh, the significance of this teaching, as well as other wisdom around the traditional Chinese medicine model, as well as to receive blessings for self-healing,、um, he has nine calligraphies in the book that range from the greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest light. He has one for called the Wai Jiao,、uh, which is、um, clearing blockages that we have associations with cold and flu. It's truly an amazing、uh, model, if you will. To to understand the power and significance of the Tao calligraphies, and so I recommend that Soul Healing Miracles. So I'm on page 21, 2021 of this book, and <clears throat> in this、um, teaching here, he talks about the five elements. I'm not going to offer a, a wisdom on the five elements, as I indicated before. I'm not a traditional Chinese medicine、uh, guru. I don't have any degrees in that, but I can share with you what is in the book and how it can assist us, and so. Uh, the five elements、uh, represent wood, fire, earth, metal, and water, and they work in harmony. They're not limited to the human body. They, according to traditional Chinese medicine,、uh, are as- they impact all aspects of, of all universes. So, Mother Earth has aspects of it. All universes have aspects of it, and it, it basically represents a model of balance. And so, there are. Imbalances that can occur in it, and balances that can occur in it. For example,、um, there's what's called a generating aspect. It's like a mother-son aspect, and what that means is that wood、uh, creates <coughs> the fuel for fire. Fire is associated with the element、uh, associated with the heart, and then fire assists with the creation of metal, which has association with the lungs, and so it's the mother-son. Combination, metal assists with the with the element of water. The metal is the carrier of water through, for example, a metal pail or、uh, a metal pipes that carry water. Water then feeds the wood,、uh, which causes、uh, plant life to grow. And so it's called a generating or nurturing environment. And so when it nurtures in balance, then we can have tremendous, tremendous health and well-being in our life. But for example. Uh, what feeds into the liver is、uh, is the water element. It has associations with the kidney, and so if the water element or the kidney is out of balance, that impacts the function of the liver and so forth. If the liver、uh, is out of balance,、um, then the wood and its associated ability to bring fire to the heart is out of balance, and so then the heart can act up. And so sometimes people、uh, will receive blessings for the heart. 
and um, it still is acting up a bit, and they don't know why. In, and if we check guidance, it could be there's an imbalance in the wood element or the liver, and that uh, uh, TCM medicine or herbs or blessings through one of the healers uh, in Master Shell's organization can offer a blessing to bring back balance to that aspect, and then of course it can assist in bringing balance to the connective uh, element, in this case the fire element or the heart. And so there is a unique interconnectivity amongst them. Today we're going to be focusing on the wood element <coughs> and the condition of anger. Now, I did a teaching on this probably about three months ago, but I'm going to offer some additional information on it again. And um, anger is a physical world imbalance. It is something that is an emotion. And most, at least in my observation, both me personally going through a great deal of growth around the ability to express emotions correctly uh, and uh, identifying when I'm not expressing them correctly. Um, what I've come to uh, understand on a personal level is that um, most of us just don't have a very good vocabulary, and men especially. And so we kind of default to four or five major emotions, love, hate, anger, disgust, um, irritation, and maybe one or two more, um, but our, our, our ability is not that large. Women tend to have a little bit wider vocabulary and a greater ability to express it, which also drives them crazy when they're connecting with a man uh, or a significant other that doesn't have an emotional vocabulary because the woman wants to fully express herself and because the man simply doesn't know how to deal with it, then it creates more problems in the relationship. But that goes on to a relationship training, which is a different training entirely. So back to anger. The emotion itself is a representation of something that is much deeper. And very typically it has roots <coughs> in the inability to express what is really going on for us in the form of a feeling and need. Now in terms of the physical body, the emotional and the mental body, in terms of the uh, wood element, in terms of the spiritual debt or karmic aspects, there are many possible roots that could have brought this condition to us. And they include, if we look at the spiritual debt aspect, meaning karma, okay, that could have brought conditions into our life where we had angry parents, alcoholic parenting, things of that nature. And we, we witness uh, uh, anger in the household in some cases, some of us have witnessed that. And so we tend to be, as uh, those growing up, as children growing up, we adopt and witness um, those things. We, we need to look at it and say, oh, that's the way to be. Oh, we look at it and say, I'm never going to be that way. Uh, it depends on our, 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 our process of absorption and our process of developing our ego. And so that's one area in which it comes. But why did that angry parent come to us? Um, were we angry to that parent at some point in time? In other words, were we the parent and they the child? And are we duplicating this process? And does it show up later on in life when we are unpleasant to our spouse or our children? And so there are often deeper roots to something like this. The wood element in this association recognizes that this is one and only one aspect of the wood element. So the wood element is, has a much wider swath uh, the wood element represents a general representation of <coughs> the human body in that it impacts the liver, the associated yang organ known as the gallbladder, so they're a paired organ, the yin and yang organ, and it also has associations with the eyes and vision. And so those who have consistently poor vision, uh, they may not know that there are very often direct associations to your liver and your liver health. <clears throat> there are also associations to the emotion of anger, as we've just discussed, and the tendons in the body, the tendons. There's a gentleman downstairs that pulled a tendon in his, um, his uh, I don't even know the name of this muscle and tendon area in here, but he was lifting too much, and he pulled a tendon. And so there again is imbalance of potential imbalances in the uh, wood element. The balanced emotion of anger is patience go figure right patience and so very often one needs <coughs> this balanced emotion and so one of the things you're going to witness today is I'm going to be offering a crown chakra blessing to a gentleman that I've been working with 
Uh, and this is one of the um, imbalances that is showing up, a wood element imbalance, and it's showing up in the form of uh, anger in the wrong areas and times. And uh, the crown chakra blessing will include as well the uh, addition of more patience into his life. And so you'll be able to witness that. And then uh, we'll do some readings around it to see what the values were. Now he'll also share with you in a little while, I'll bring him on in about five to eight minutes here, um, uh, the experiences he has had so far with crown chakra blessings. I believe he's received at least two of them and how that so far has impacted his life. So you'll, you'll get an idea of the value if it's something you wish to receive for yourself. <clears throat> so back to the nature of, of, of this condition. It is an emotional body condition, so it does have roots in mindsets, attitudes, beliefs. It definitely has associations to ego. And the attachments. What's an attachment? The attachment is being right. I am right. I am the superior. I am the boss. I can, I can be angry because I'm the boss. I can be angry because I'm the parent. I can be angry because I'm the bigger brother or bigger sister. This is an attachment to being right, an attachment to being uh, the superior. Ego is, is not so much about what I just stated there. It's more about a culmination of all that we've accepted uh, as who I am. And it cannot be changed. Uh, there's a, a sense of, um, of uh, self-righteousness that comes with it. Of, um, you know, sorry, this is who I am. Can't change it. Um, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. These are set over time. Uh, a mindset as well, you know, it is what it is. Um, um, it's, you know, it can't, it can't be changed. It's, you know, that's just the way they do things. Uh, an attitude is more like, um, well, you know, I'm sorry I'm angry, but, you know, I can't change it. A belief has more to do with a belief that this is how things are done because that's what I've witnessed. And so these are tied in mentally and emotionally. So one of the great values of doing uh, practices for the anger element, for the uh, uh, balancing the... the uh, not the anger element, the wood element, balancing the conditions of anger and the liver and the gallbladder and the tendons and the eyes, is that it stabilizes <coughs> the uh, triggers. It stabilizes the emotional mental triggers that are not overly difficult to identify, um, but they have a root. And so when we do this practice consistently, it starts bringing about balance. It brings in more patience. It starts bringing uh, energetics to the associated organs the liver and the gallbladder to help us to to not react when we don't need to react. And so one of the great features about um, uh, Master Shah's teaching is it's very encompassing. Uh, so we're going to do a practice now before we do this um, blessing. And we're going to use the four powers, and this is so that you have something to, to bring blessings and healing to yourself. You can do this practice for a loved one on their behalf, because their ego might be too big to do it on their own behalf. Um, and so how do you do that? You call their soul forward, and you say, dear the soul of whoever it is that has the imbalanced wood element, anger, condition, whatever. Uh, you have the ability to bring healing and balance to yourself. As I do this practice, please do it with me. This is called uh, soul healing, and it is a, a form of doing it at the level of soul. Very, very effective, and it's one way in which you can feel empowered when the person you want to benefit has too big of a blockage to see that they need blessings in that area. Also, if it is a family member, and you wish to receive a crown chakra blessing on their behalf, permission is not necessary because it is a family member. If it's like a friend, I have to get permission. But if it's a family member and you wish to do it for them, with or without their awareness, then that is certainly something that can be offered if that's of interest to you. Okay? All right. So the, the practice that Master Shah offers us is using the four powers, including a mantra. And the mantra is a sound power. So body power, everybody sit up straight. We're going to place one hand over our liver, which represents the wood element. The liver is underneath your right rib cage, or just beneath it, yeah, near the bottom of the rib cage. And it doesn't matter which hand you place there, whichever one is comfortable. And the other hand you would place over your heart center, your message center. 
Okay, that's your body power. For your creative visualization, your mind power, I want you to visualize green light. Green is the wood color, it's the wood element. And I want you to visualize a deep, dark, forest green light in your liver. That's going to be the visualization, okay? And for um, sound power, we're going to chant Jiao, J-A-I-O, which uh, is a Mandarin Chinese word that uh, blesses this area and the wood element. Jiao, we're going to chant Jiao Ya Yo Dao, Jiao Ya Yo Dao, okay? And we'll do this for about three to five minutes. And for soul power, go ahead and place your palms in the uh, appropriate areas. Left one of your palms on your liver and the other palm over your heart center. And close your eyes. And we're going to connect and do the soul power. So dear the soul of my liver, of my wood element, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to heal and rejuvenate yourself. Do a great job. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of my wood element, I love you. You have the ability to bring balance to yourself, to release anger blockages, and to rejuvenate my wood element. Do a great job. Thank you. That's inner soul communication, connecting with the souls of our inside. Now we ask the outer souls, dear the divine, the Tao and the source, all the beings of light that have been called forth at this time. Dear the soul of the wood element for Mother Earth, of the wood element for all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please offer me a blessing to balance my wood element, my liver, and the condition of anger as appropriate? I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, with your eyes closed, visualizing the forest green light into the liver area, we will chant Jiao Ya Yo Dao. Jiao Ya Yo Dao, 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 Jiao Ya Yo Dao. Jiao ya yo dao, 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 jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. And with your eyes closed, continue to visualize the green light radiating from the liver area to your whole body. It's very, very bright in your liver area, but the green light is balancing the wood element throughout your body now. Jiao ya yo dao, 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 jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. One more round. Jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao, jiao ya yo dao. Jiao ya yo dao, 
Jau ya yo dao. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So obviously, this practice is not long enough. <coughs> if you have any liver conditions, any uh, hepatitis A, B, C, any psoriasis, any conditions where you're doing alcohol, trying to clear alcoholic blockages, where you have a high level of toxicity in your body, if you have anger, if you have tendon issues, issues with your eyes or vision, this is the mantra for you. Minimum 15 minutes is the ideal length of time. Uh, you do want to incorporate the four powers, your body power, where you place your hands, where you place your, your mind, and your creative, creative visualization is very important. Most important is the soul power. Connect to the soul of the liver. Ask it to heal and rejuvenate itself. Connect to the soul of the wood element. Ask it to heal and rejuvenate itself. Then connect to the outer souls, all beings of light, divine Tao source. You love Jesus, ask Jesus to come. You love Buddha, ask Buddha to come. Doesn't matter. They're here to serve, they're here to help, but you have to call them first. And then also remember, the wood element uh, is not limited to the human body. It is in all nature, it is in all universes. So if you ask the wood element of Mother Earth, and all universes to come to serve you, then you could get extraordinary, extraordinary benefits. Uh, so if you have issues in these areas, I challenge you to do this, you know, 15 minutes a day and make notes of your conditions, whatever they might be that you're trying to bring balance to and see if there is shift. And do that, you know, for uh, at least 10 days before you make any uh, adjustments or, or assumptions that it is or is not benefiting you. So this is a traditional Chinese medicine technique that Master Shah has brought to us through the Soul Healing Miracles book. Highly recommend you get it off uh, uh, Amazon's a good place. You can find it very affordably in the used books section, just a few dollars plus shipping. And um, it's a great way to uh, bring a instrument into your house that could be always there to bring healing to you because of the nine calligraphies and the power that's in those calligraphies in the book. So now I am going to call <coughs> one of the students that has been receiving blessings from me uh, and we're going to ask him his story and, um, and then he's going to receive a blessing and I will do a reading so you understand what is occurring. You will also have the opportunity to receive this for yourself or a loved one if that's of interest. So calling now. Hello. Hey Marty, how you doing? I'm doing well, Master Paul. How about yourself? Very well, thank you. Thanks for being at the end of the phone call. You are live on a telephone call anyway. <laughs> Gotcha. You're Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good. Um, so, Marty, uh, give us a little backstory. Uh, how did you How did you find out about uh, the services that are available? What have you received to the best of your memory, and how has it benefited you so far? Sure. Uh, I became aware of, of your services through my wife. Um, she, um, I believe, she. She's, she's the one with a Facebook account and everything, and she's the one who gets in touch with the various things that um, Facebook's gets you in touch with, with liking and everything. Um, so she kind of cued me into getting getting on it as well, um, due to obviously the ser services that you have, and kind of uh, getting myself back on the on the right track, back on the on, on the journey that I was meant to be on. So um, I guess the background of of, of myself personally is, uh, you know, I, I grew up, I would say, in, you know, a normal family. Uh, you know, I had a mom and dad and brothers and, you know, two brothers and went, uh, schooling was great through college and everything. Um, but there was, you know, let's we'll say there was something missing, but I, I you know, I, I, I guess everything was, was, uh, was superficial. Everything was kind of on the outside. And, uh, I really never, you know, really dug deep into 
to who I was or kind of let out uh, who I was except to, to my wife um, I guess in the early stages of our relationship before we got married and so um, you know like all couples typically you rush into things and you know you think you know each other but you don't know each other until the times are really really rough um, so um, you know we had a couple kids two beautiful young boys and then you know the family life gets hectic and even more and it seemed like the more but it was put on our plate uh, as a couple in terms of kids, a house, a mortgage, cars, budget, and all that stuff, um, the more and more we, we would kind of get at each other's throats um, back and forth, and the more we would fight, and it seemed like uh, it was a, a cyclical habit um, between us and the interactions that happened. So um, it's uh, the people that we had talked about being when we first had met um, where we really got to know each other and really got emotional and got you know, beneath the surface and all, um, I guess was always there. It's that we were falling very, very far uh, away from that. And uh, when we got um, in touch with you, uh, it was like we were getting centered. It was like we were getting grounded. It was like we were, you know, getting back to who we are, you know, as a person and the people that we wanted to be. Um, and with your services, um, I believe that I, I did have the crown chakra uh, blessing. I had um, three other healings as well um, uh, to unthread um, the um, the blockages that I had in my in my heart, in my uh, uh, I believe the dung hell, the the tummy area down there. The lower and then, um, and, and Kundalini, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, there you go. Um, and then uh, also I think I think we did one um, one for my mind, I believe. I think we did one recently for um, um, releasing the triggers that caused any flare-up when you were around Correct. the kids and the wife. Correct. Does that sound yes. right? That, that, that crown chakra blessing. Correct. <clears throat> okay. And so what have you noticed uh, in more recently with, with the more recent blessing? Um, that, you know, I've always, you know, been aware of everything going on, but I guess I wasn't mindful of it. And it's kind of, I would, you know, bulldoze through um, the relationships I would have with my boys and with my wife and uh, kind of go to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing instead of, you know, slowing myself down. And, you know, I always believe that I had patience. My, my, uh, my job makes me have patience. I'm a teacher. But um, it's, it's that mindfulness that kind of slows, slows myself down and uh, it makes me, instead of think logically and think rationally through my head um, and talk it out with my mouth, I guess, um, it allows me more to if this makes sense, speak from the heart. So I just don't say anything when I get in a situation like that. And I speak with my heart, if that makes sense. Oh. I, the, I, used, I used to rationalize it and um, um, logically think through it, that if this happens and this happens and this happens, like it's a domino effect. And uh, I kind of just, it quieted that part of me and allowed me to, you know, get to the the root of who I am is, 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 is in my heart. So it, it allows me to, to allow my heart to speak. And, and like they say with, with, with athletes, I guess, who are, who are really gifted, um, like they said, Michael Jordan in basketball, he said the game would slow down for him and it was easy for him. So in that sense, it's, it's definitely not, not easy for me, um, but it's getting easier. But when I get in those situations in which the old habit would be triggered and I'd react in a poor way, I would just allow the moment to come to me instead of go grabbing the moment. And when I let the moment come to me, it's not the reactive person who says, it, you know, if this happens and that happens and that happens and this happens, but you just let the moment come to me and then allow my heart to speak. Wow. That's really, uh, you know, very exceptional explanation, Marty. I'm, I'm very impressed um, with your awareness you. and, and your shift. 
uh, uh, congratulations. And Thank so, you. Um, Thank you. Um, anything else you wanted to add? Um, and I think we we talked about this before as well. I I, I got into yoga a while ago, and when I would finish yoga, um, yeah, I wouldn't need coffee in the morning. I, I wouldn't need, to be honest, I probably wouldn't need food during the day um, or anything. I just felt so grounded, and I just had this feeling of kind of calmness. And so I, I feel like I have that feeling more during the day um, um, because of that, because I am more mindful, and, and I don't, you know, rush through or go from one to the next to the next, and, and I don't rationalize. I, I kind of let the moment come to me. I guess that's why I'm saying that the, the whole, you know, being mindful. Not, I mean, because I think we're all aware. I mean, we all know what's going on. We're pretty aware of things. It's just a matter of how aware you are. But you know, what are you going to do with that? It's it's about being mindful and, and recognizing, like. I guess other people's feelings and you know other people around you and I think that's the speaking with the heart that I just hadn't utilized in so long or maybe never utilized before the way that it was supposed to be utilized yeah excellent so you found a new language so to speak there you go language Perfect. of the heart so um, yeah I was guided today to offer you this blessing and um, uh, I think it will assist in alleviating any additional roots that might be there uh, and further bless your guys' relationship. So would this be something you'd like uh -huh. to receive? Yes, it is. Okay. So for all those that are watching, all those that are listening, what Marty is going to receive is what's called a crown chakra blessing. And it is um, it can be done in person or remotely. And I, while he is receiving it, I'm going to offer a... a uh, a spiritual reading as to what is actually transpiring during this blessing. And so, um, Marty, for where you're at, sit up straight. I think he's in uh, he's on the East Coast, somewhere around Pennsylvania. Um, and then back away from the back of the chair. And uh, your tongue gently touching the roof of your mouth. Got it. And you know, relax your shoulders, relax your palms over your lower abdomen. And prepare to receive. Crown Chakra Blessing for Marty, for the condition of anger. As appropriate, including the attribute of patience as needed, as appropriate. Crown Chakra Blessing, begin. And so at this time, uh, Marty's Akashic Record opened up and uh, there were many, many pages that were flagged. Uh, Heaven knew about this blessing in advance. And these pages represent uh, the, the, the not, not just actions that Marty had made against others. Actually, quite a few of the, of the information in there is related to uh, witnessing things, negative memories, um, acts of anger being acted upon him, um, some of it is is karmic related in that it is about returning the uh, the information upon others that had been the giver of of the wrong emotion, uh, and then some of it is his own stuff. Only about twenty three percent is ancestral related. So the majority does lie uh, with his own soul in its journey. And what's happening at this time is there's like a, a very special, it looks to me like a green liquid uh, that is like a dew mist, like a spray. Um, and as it, as it floats down very, very gently, when it hits a mindset or an attitude or a belief or an attachment or a, 
or a, a negative memory or, 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 or a karmic blockage, it, it almost like it, it, it hits it and then it, it, it makes this fizzle sparks kind of thing in it and it, and it removes it. It just poof and it's gone. And it's doing that all over the place. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of this, uh, like little grenades, you know, poof, 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 removing things as it goes. There's also a nectar that is coming through the, the crown chakra channel that is soothing the heart. Um, a lot of, a lot, a lot of um, blessings being offered to the heart and its relationship to the fire that comes up. And the fire, in essence, is being smoothed. There is a, an additional very light, beautiful green um, nectar that is feeding into I wouldn't say into the liver so much as the whole area that's representative of the wood element. It's, it's, it's bigger than just the liver. And the whole area is getting bathed in that light um, nectar and energy. Um, the, the records in your books are being expunged, so to speak. Virtue is being offered. Uh, spiritual debts and memories are being released. Um, patience has been installed in... Um, in various areas of the physical brain as well as the physical heart and uh, where there there were mindsets attitudes and beliefs and ego and attachments there has been an installation of, of the patients I don't know how you call it, like a patient's molecule I guess um, and what happens is it's almost like a like a little alarm and so when something triggers this little patient's alarm will come out Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Marty, for being uh, the person to receive this. Did you happen to notice any uh, experience on the skin or emotion or any experience at all? Yeah, it, um, even before you said what was happening, it felt like, I mean, there was like a waterfall and it felt like it was green. I thought it was greenish before I said it, that it was just water falling like through my head into into my whole body. And when you said where it was going, it was almost like you told me where I should look for it. I guess it, initially it was just coming through my head and then it's just, and I knew it was gonna fill in. I didn't know where it was gonna fill in at, but, um, but it, it definitely, definitely felt really good. Yeah. Yeah, there was quite a bit, quite a bit that had left. Um, yeah, I'd have to tell you privately. Um, but uh, yeah, very, very blessed. Very, very blessed. So um, keep me posted, Marty, as to, you know, how this may impact you moving forward. See if you uh, notice, you know, uh, the little, um, the patience triggers that come up for you. And uh, if there's any... Oh, and I... Go ahead. Uh, I had a cheeky little grin the whole time, too. <laughs> I was smiling the whole time um, from the beginning to the end as well, so... Excellent. Excellent. I'm so happy to hear that you, you and Brianna and the whole family are doing much better now. Congratulations on all the shifts you guys have made. I'm very grateful for the Thank opportunity you. to connect to you guys. I uh, appreciate you as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So it sounds like you were able to hear it. I saw a few comments there that it, it looked like you were able to hear everything well, so that's good. Um, so that's an example of a crown chakra blessing for this condition. And it's uh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be focusing on the other elements, which will include anxiety or depression. Uh, or maybe fear, which is the water element. Maybe you have significant grief and sadness and you just can't seem to get out of that, uh, that grief place. The same kind of a blessing will be available for those emotional conditions as well. But I won't be offering demonstrations on those over the next few days. So I mention that now so that you're aware of it. So that when you hear the information over the next few days uh, on that, then you can contact me. You can, of course, call me at 808 469 6199 or you can email me my email is a soul healer at yahoo.com my website of course a soul healer.com so there's different ways you can connect me if that's of interest to you 
I want to remind you that all of the uh, all of the um, tools that you need to self heal are very much available. Master Shah has videos on his website in which he offers blessings for this condition as well as for the condition of anger. And you can simply go to a video and hit repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, you can pick up the book, Soul Healing Miracles, and, um, and do the self-practices. You can use the calligraphies in there and do self-practices. The purpose of, of this education and this example is to show you that in the period of, of less than a month, um, this gentleman, Marty, and his wife have seen significant shift in their relationship because they recognize the value in these special services and they chose to honor a little bit for them. And what happens in essence is it, what might take the average person several years of very dedicated practice to release is able to be released in a very short period of time. So I give you that as a, a, a suggestion of something that might assist you. So this is the teaching for today on the nature of the wood element and anger. Remember to do the practice, Jiao Ya Yo Dao, J-A-I-O, Jiao Ya Yo Dao. And uh, ideally you want to do it about 15 minutes a day and make sure you employ the four powers. And if you forget any of that, you can just go back and listen again and tune in. Tomorrow I'll be discussing the fire element and its associations with the physical heart, its associations with depression and anxiety, and its associations with high blood pressure, the, the other organs, vessels, and systems, and even our tongue, it has associations with that. Um, and so as you uh, come in tomorrow, you might find a value in that wisdom and teachings. Please share this with others. If you're new and you're watching this for the first time, you can hit the uh, enroll button at the end where you can be notified of my live streams whenever they come up. And also, of course, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger or any other uh, links that are available uh, above the video or uh, below the uh, podcast. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you to all beings of light, divine and Tao and source, all of those that offered their service at this time. Countless, countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Everybody respectfully return in the soul world. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.